Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge. At Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel. You can join the Patreon squad by doing so you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the, uh, of the British crew and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others including Douglas Chambers who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, yeah, so as you know, you know, we tell, you know, we sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that's how it is, you know, because somebody have to tell, somebody have to tell the, the emperor that he has no clothes. You remember the, um, you know, I don't know if you ever heard the story or the parable that said the emperor has no clothes. So the emperor always go out on the balcony naked, you know, showing his, you know, his little soldier and all of these things. And everybody always applaud, applaud the emperor, what a good job he's doing. And nobody will tell the emperor that he has uh, no clothes. Because nobody dare to challenge the emperor. So as you look right now on the thing, you know, before we even continue, we're going to tell you that Jamaica, whether or not you want to believe it, Jamaica is the next year in the Caribbean. It's not a question, but it's just if and when. And we don't expect it. We don't expect this to last. We don't expect it's going to take a year for we to reach there. And we're telling you because all the guns are there and the fruit is ready the fruit is ready for, for picking because it's ripe. And we're telling you that. So as I say now with the emperor now, the emperor has no clothes. So the emperor is standing out there on the, on the balcony naked and talking and the crowd cheering. You understand? And then there's a little child in the group says that the emperor doesn't have no clothes. I can see the emperor Tealy. What a little Tealy. It was a child that told the emperor that he has uh, no clothes. All along, yeah, the crowd, the audience, never tell the emperor that because it's the emperor. You don't want to offend the emperor. 
So you have to use a little child to tell the emperor he has no clothes. So that is what we are doing right here. And look, we are not beholden to any guy in Jamaica, you know. We're just telling you right as it is. Because when you have a corrupt system, corrupt people who pretend as if they're, they want a better Jamaica. They don't want a better Jamaica. They want a better Jamaica for themselves. Yes, not for the Jamaican people. They want to make sure that they have people in our levers of powers to protect them and their friends, their corrupt friends, all of them. So don't be fooled. As we said before and we say it again, one of them pretend that they are trying to fix Jamaica and the next one, not only pretend, the next one is saying that they want to tear down Jamaica. So the Jamaican people don't really have anyone who have their interests at heart. Everyone is there. What's in it for me? Yes. Um, whether or not you want to believe it, everything in your life consists of politics. So in time, some of your favorite bloggers are, you understand, they don't tell you who win the elections and they pretend as if um, nothing happened. And, you know, they don't tell you that um, Gummy Beer did not do a concession speech that the PMP criminal organization party lost the election. Because you have to understand that these people are not in on YouTube for the betterment of Jamaica. They're just in it, just like the corrupt politicians. They're just there for themselves. What's in it for me? It's all about money. I want you to know somebody's goal, the objective is money. You know, they have no core beliefs and they're not ethical, decent or moral person or people. So that is what is happening in Jamaica and with some of your vloggers. You understand? The one, uh, I can tell you that, that's why, I, that's why, yeah, I don't care about um, a person how much subscribers they have. That doesn't make them ethical. And you know that everywhere you go, you have organic robots and you have diarted people. People who are diarted, they, ne they cannot see past their nose because the truth hurts them. And that's why we have lost over 10,000 viewers and subscribers. Because look, you see over here, we're not massaging anyone's ego and we're not telling you any lies. So it hurt people. So they flee. We tell you, we, show, we, we have done a video already and show, if you look, um, we have done a video already on this channel to show that we have lost over 8,000 viewers and subscribers, subscribers to the channel. They just flee because we just tell them the truth that, you know, hey, a, 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 a scammer is just a scammer. But they don't want to hear that, you understand what I'm saying? So people love when they massage them eager. It's because they don't want to offend people and by offending people, you know, People who people love, even Duppy. Because whether or not you want to believe it, Jamaican people love Duppy, you know. Yes, you understand. So when they love Duppy and you can't say anything, you can't tell them, say, hey, look here, the Duppy, not real, because it's a Duppy, and the Duppy is a scammer. Them tell you, you as a living person who's not hiding or anything like that, that you are a eater and you are saying things that's not, that um, you shouldn't say it, and they want to tell you what to say. It. And if you never say it, we will not unsubscribe. As we say, look here, this is not an entertainment channel. No. And we, we are totally different from most YouTubers that have, you know, comment, um, those commentary about Jamaica. And we can tell you that um, there are two women, two women, women are the two bravest on YouTube. And these two women, they are PMP criminal organization supporters although they kick them out of the party so they're just spilling the beans they're even better than some of your top bloggers yes the ones that you people religiously listen to and these people don't sugarcoat anything but like for them now they won't losing any subscriber because they're just starting so they're more building subscribers because you understand but as to me you know i'm just gonna tell you the real mama papa truth so as we tell you say jamaica is the next 80 in the Caribbean and it's fit for the picking. So how how 80s gang grew into this Frankenstein monsters in into Frankenstein monsters. Jamaica is the next 80 in the Caribbean. Did you know that real corrupt the real corruptors in Jamaica are not the criminals on the street, but the 63 members of parliament? Not all of them, you know, but you understand. But you, you know, so as we tell you I already say, you know, so, um, these Individual, these 63 people, you know, um, individual are supposed to represent the best interests of the people. Yet many of them look out for themselves. And that is what, let me tell you this, people don't go into politics because they love people, you know. Uh, based on what we have seen, most of them, in it, they are in it for what's in it for me. 
And we say in it for me, they make sure things snipe they snipe now of things for them friends and their families. You understand? Because you have to understand in every country in the world, the government is the one where all the money is at. Because everything has to go to the government. The government is the one that can rob people, as well um, P.J. Patterson, Omar Davey, um, Peter Bunting and Mark Golden did in FinSAC, rob them, thief them assets, and then, them, you know, share it up for themselves and them cronies and people commit suicide. So you have to understand, government is now one of the biggest criminals in any country. Although they will pretend as if um, government is ethical and morally inclined. That's what government is supposed to be, but government don't operate like that. That all of those things are just facade. We are telling that. You understand? So while they live in luxury, the people there, they were elected to serve, struggle to make ends meet. They make promises during election season, yet fail to deliver them once in office. The corruption runs deep, with kickbacks, bribes and shady deals being the norm. Meanwhile, the average Jamaican citizen is left behind struggling to navigate a system that is rigged against them, whether or not you want to believe it. So, it's time to hold these corruptors accountable. It's time to demand transparency and honesty from our leaders. We are incor incorruptible and not beholden to any political parties, but to the Jamaican decent, honest, hardworking and law-abiding citizens. Also, our police officers who are decent, incorruptible, like Assistant Commissioner of Police, MacArthur Sadanan. I don't know when, if, and when we are ever going to see a, a police officer with a character, a reputation, integrity, honesty, truthfulness as MacArthur Sadanan. I don't think we are ever going to live to see another man like that man. But you know what? In Jamaica, if you are not corrupt, they have no use of you. The elites. Remember the real criminals, you know? When we say the real criminals, you know, these are people who have... In Jamaica, you know, the real criminals in Jamaica you know, are the people who have surfer tickets on the wall showing that they have associates, bachelor's degrees, masters, doctorates. These are the real criminals. The ones who are there causing chaos... They are just the foot soldiers that is there to do that, to, um, to distract from what the educators are doing, who are the real criminals in Jamaica. And they know it's like a clique, you know, just like how the rear admirals and them know each other and them know them. Signs and, yeah, as I had spoken to, I had spoken to one who was very, very prominent in that world, world and he would tell you, you understand, even some big police. That's why some of them talk to you, you know, yeah, man, even. Yes, two of them were seen as, um, one of them retired, one still serving, seen as superintendent of police. And this man, yeah, and we call him name, yeah, quote the man in, uh, you know, mentioned that these two officers are real admirals. One of them, you know, we used to talk, to, we used to, we talked to both of them, but them attack talk to me again, because they were like, for you the truth and them thing. If you know, say so you're not a real admiral, then you're not a real admiral, you understand? So, them know them clique. So, the real admirals, them, and the corruptors, them, all of them is a clique. And them, whether or not you want to believe it, and all the them say burn out the chichi, and them control the system, you know, you have to understand. So them always going to appoint people up there that them know, looking out for their interests. You understand? You understand? So that's how it is. So, you know, so let's spotlight the true culprits of corruption in Jamaica. The 63 members of parliament. Together, we can make a difference to create a better future for all Jamaicans. As we tell you already, Jamaica is the next 80 in the Caribbean. And we know enough people are like, oh boy, he's an alarmist. Alarmist, we just tell you, you know. The watchman, you see, as them say, the watchman is the danger. And if he don't want the people, the blood of the people is on the watchman's shoulder. So that's what we are doing right now. We are warning the people. Because we see it all happening. You, know. you see, 1999, I have a sister. And before all of that happened in 1999, I had told even my mother and them things in the back then, you know, that, hey, look, this is what is going to happen in Jamaica, you know, because based on what is happening on the streets. And so said, so done. And then people are said, boy, I can't believe, say, boy, you're like a prophet, you know, Chris. I just saw it is because I remember, where should I come from? We come from right there, along with the same little man, where, you know, if him see him name on a bull, I eat it, because him can't read. And these are the people that them love. Because when people are ignorant, you know, people use and abuse you, you know, and dispose of you. 
So in a country plagued by corruption, Jamaica's 63 members of parliament are seen as the ultimate corruptors. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel are the incorruptible Jamaica and pride ourselves on being independent and loyal only to this beautiful island, decent, honest, hard-working and law-abiding citizens. So join us as we exp you know, expose the truth behind the corruption in Jamaica's highest legislative bodies and those who are in levers of power. So it is clear from our passionate and strongly worded message that we have deep concern about corruption within Jamaican government and its impact on our law enforcement officers. Yes, on our law enforcement. Yes. So it is clear. It is clear that, you know, all we're going to give you is a real mama papa truth. So we have highlighted specific instance. Yes, we have highlighted specific instance, such as the appointment of yeah, man, we bad mind, we bad mind thief, you know. We, we, you know, we have highlighted the specific instance, such as the appointment of Dr. Kevin Blake, you know, as Deputy Commissioner of Police to the Commissioner of Police, you know. So that we perceive as an indication of corruption and nepotism within the system. Yeah, man, this is a man, you know, that his uncle, you know, was the most corrupt Commissioner of Police, and then now him become Commissioner of Police. That is nepotism, cronyism. Corruption, and I can go on and on. There are so many words, that so many adjectives to use about these people, and it is clear to show you that hey, look, Jamaica is not on any road. Well, maybe if we have a different leader, but not with the current leader we have. And you know, say, so, hey, let me tell you this: you don't know, so with um, the um, with gummy beer that now go work. Yeah, gummy beer now go gummy beer even worse. So that's why we say we have to work with we have until after the next election, then we start to find some way to get rid of um, those. But we, if gummy beer, the gummy beer is going worse. Because gummy beer, you understand? So we have to just work with what we have right now until the next election. But maybe it's going to be too late then. So corruption within government institutions, especially law enforcement, can have serious consequences for the rule of law and the well being of citizens. Unfortunately, we feel frustrated and delusional with the state of affairs in Jamaica and we fear that it might lead to instability, reminiscent of Haiti. Yeah, that's all we feel and we are telling you because we're not, you know, we're not blind, you know, we're not blind, you know, but we can't see, you understand? They must say, oh, you know, I'm blind, um, you know, people who are blind can't see things. Yeah, we're not blind, we can't see things. So while our perspective shed light on the country's challenges, it is important to note that addressing corruption requires a collective effort from the citizens and institutions. Advocacy for transparency, accountability and an independent judiciary is crucial to combat, combating corruption and ensure justice prevail. So if you are waiting for an independent judiciary, you can continue to wait because the system itself the people in levers of powers are all corruptors. Just look at Chief Justice Brian Lego Sykes. You know, that's the ultimate, the epitome of corruption. Then you have Judith Pusey, the paper bag crew, the paper bag crew within the judiciary. You see what, what happened with the man from Russia that charged with four counts of manslaughter? You think he's going to go to Russia and come back to Jamaica knowing the chance of going to prison? No. Paper bag thing, you understand? Who is there to defend the, uh, the poor? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't know if the Russians are gonna spare off the people them for the um the killing of the people on the airport road and the scale today, because Russia is another corrupt country too, you know, we are telling you, you know. So, you know, we have spec um we have specific evidence regarding corruption. But who you gonna report it to? You can't report it to you can you cannot you cannot report corruption to corrupt people. You cannot do that. You understand? Never ever even try that. You can't, you know, you you know, you can't report corruption to corrupt people. Cause corrupt people are hard, <laughs> you can't report them. You understand? So engaging in peaceful advocacy for justice and reform can also contribute to pos positive societal change. And look, 
when they come on to all of these groups in Jamaica, like the Jamaican for Justice and all, these people are not there for the justice of the Jamaican people. They are there for everything that the um, Jamaican people are doing. All of these so-called human rights groups, it's what's in it for me. The more destruction in Jamaica, the more money for them. So if you notice, they don't promote decency and law-abiding uh, law behavior. They are there for the criminals. And that's why... We at the Jamaica Young Port, we pray that one day they you know, they will know how it feels to become a victim in our Jamaica. So that we can, you know, we can offer our empathy and, and sympathy for them. They don't experience it, you know. So remember that change often requires persistence and the collaboration of individuals committed to integrity and justice. Our insights, experience and dedication to the truth can be valuable in fostering a culture of accountability within Jamaica. But hey, look here. We don't know. We just say it now still, do you know? The, yes. We, honestly, as we say, and we we'll say it again, I want to care when nobody wants to say. As much as we know, say, um, you know, the Prime Minister is very popular. If you go right back to our video, like, we have people who are change and everything, you know. We have never been a fan of his period. And the reason being, you can't say a lot of things. Um, anything where the, the PMP criminal organization brought down or dismantled and the, and the labor right government go along with it, you know, they are just as corrupt as them. So they mongo pretend. So when we say they might pretend, yeah, we're talking about the Prime Minister of Jamaica. They mongo pretend, say my try to fix. He's not. He mongo go along with the wind. If something is popular, him ride with it. Like how him talk say, oh, he must start him uh, um, hanging people. He could have do that long time. I'll know him not do it. Because guess what? That's a theme core. That a, in, in belief, the people that may kill people, he believes they are because they're poor. I don't know how we school him go. But I do believe, you know, that I don't know. I don't know where we all get the Siaga from or the Moses. But we know, say, why? We have to just wait in after the next election. You understand? Because we can't continue on this path. Number one, we can't, we can't allow, we, can't, we as Jamaican cannot allow Gomez Beer to become Prime Minister of Jamaica. If it does so, we're gone. Gone, it gone. You understand? And, and another reason why Gomez Beer, them, them are just straight up criminal. Yeah, man, Gomez Beer, them. Everybody around Gomez Beer, them, criminal. It's a cabal. Oh, I tell you, man. If you go near it, you can't smell it. As them say, Gummy Beer is a man in piss up in pants front all the way. I don't know how I walk them things there. You understand? Maybe come with age and all them things there. But I just saw it go. You understand? So maybe you need to wear pampas or something like that to prevent for, you know, piss up in pants. You understand? But in a country where the government is inheritantly corrupt, and we are talking about Jamaica, the poor people are the ones who suffer the most. Because they can see that the people who are in charge have criminal tendencies. They prosecute and persecute their opponents and put their friends in the levers of powers to protect them from prosecution. One such case that comes to, to my mind is the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness, his lawyer, Patrick Bailey, who have been guaranteed Immunity from prosecution by appointed Dr. Kevin Blake, the nephew of the most corrupt modern day commissioner of police, Owen Ellington. I don't care who wants for Bex or who wants for police. The truth is just the truth. That's just a real mama and papa truth. No, I just say, no guy can't, no guy can't pay me for telling a lie for no guy. If you're a thief, nobody feels me come out and say, boy, you know, say, you're, you're a philanthropist, you're a thief. You understand? So remember, you know, Owen Ellington, um, you know, was the top cop in Jamaica. And he was the most corrupt to be the top cop of Jamaica. And it is no accident. Owen Ellington is the first person in the Caribbean to be arrested and charged for dishonesty and become commissioner of police. I want a man to tell me, show me an honest thief. You know, it's because somebody is exonerated by the court means that they're innocent, you know. Because that's not what the court says, you know. It's just because of, you know, some rules or some error or some flaws in our evidence. Why? Because when, once police, once the director of public prosecution rule for charge somebody, that person is not innocent. So Jamaica is the only place where they appoint 
criminals, people who are suspect, um, people who have been arrested and charged with dishonesty to become commissioner of police. I would like to show any, any person who listen to this, I want you to show me one honest criminal. And you can see them keep, uh, they might discharge Jamaica, you know. Yeah. Them claim say, you know, as we tell you, you know, they might pretend that they want to fix Jamaica. Pretend. They're not fixing Jamaica. Jamaica is a laughing stock in the Caribbean, you know. Yes. Jamaica is a laughing stock in the Caribbean. And what we tell you that they are pretending that they want to fix Jamaica is that we, we have seen where I break them, I break it down, you know. Whether or not you don't want to believe it, you know. Break them, I break them, I destroy Jamaica little by little, you know. So all you see them are going, you know, because through the whole of them involving a drug dealing and them friend and them this and that. No person, no leader in any country would allow. Because when you are a prime minister in any country, when you are a prime minister, you, know, you are the head cook and buckle washer for your country, you know. If you want to change the trajectory of a country, you would make certain say. Every levers of government or every position, the person that's there within that organization, that they're supposed to have integrity, honesty, decency, morality, truthfulness. And we can go on and on, all of the good traits. You gotta make sure that all of these things is not violated. But guess what? We see it and the first the first little tap down item you now, the destruction, the destruction start with Isaac Buchanan. They are the twice convicted drug dealer who become a judge. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. so look now, so it's going to show you, you know. So, I'm going to tell you, say, boy, him be grow up poor, him grow in a board house, board house and him this and him have come from a people. So, so because you come from a people, you know, and them thing there, you feel say, all of them things I do things now, because you do things to make people, uh, make, to make yourself more popular. And you're not clear about the moral fabric of the nation. All oh, man like this become a lawyer. And, and in the court, I argue case when the man is a convicted drug dealer and then you pretend say you try to fix it. And you're gonna fool you young laugh fool fool the people them who are blinded, you know. But you can't fool me, you know, cause me don't see that long time, you know. We see them we see PMP criminal organization close down the police station at Troja for 30 odd years. And when I soon open it back. But we soon open police we see the PMP criminal organization open up the police station at Tivali Garden. The people them at Tivali now are no police station. Tivoli is the safest place in Jamaica without the police. The police are even because all the people them feel safe down there now. They don't want the police station. I only go put police to the people. They ask the police station down there now. PMP them do it in a Peter Bunting. And the same corrupt man Owen Ellington. And a female if you want to appoint now as commissioner of police. Only for move the police station from, from, um, from Tivoli. And, and we open one of Georgia where British them open. But one of that. Because I don't know how to corrupt on them things. Who will know? From, night, from PJ Patterson to um, close down the station because people them up and vote for the PMP. Them. And then now, you know, I move Warmington. Because Warmington. Warmington never let down the police station because people them vote for the PMP. If PMP them did that, I want to come about civil society, one of my biggest pretender, the great pretenders. So remember when the murder occurred at Patrick Bailey's home? That are the Prime Minister lawyer, you know, Andrew Wallace. We don't be willing to know, you know, we just tell you the real mama papa truth. Who want Bex, Bex, who want please, please, who want unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Because as we tell you, you know, YouTube no pay our bills, you know. We get paid 26 times for the year. Yeah, and the 24 times. Every two weeks we get paid. So people who work with the federal government know that. Within our military, you get paid 24 times. And I like Jamaica where they rob you and pay you 12 times. You understand? So that's why police have a thief, because you get paid today, you broke today. You, broke today. you get paid in the morning, and by afternoon, you broke. So you have to start think how to make, how to make ends meet. You understand? No, we know not that. We know not that. You understand? So, you know, see it. So, you know, we continue. We continue. All we just, we just want back Jamaica, but it you know, seem like we all get Jamaica back without, without a fight, Rasta. Believe you me. You understand? Because we can't see clearly, you know, what is happening, you know. So remember, you know, as we say, we are, remember when the murder occurred at Patrick Bailey's home, that I Prime Minister's lawyer, Andrew Wallace, would have been willing to Andrew Wallace, or not body in the Jamaica Labour Party, or no one in the PMP criminal organisation. So those are few guys who are, uh, boy, you know, I'm a paid labourer, who pay me? I'm not in the pocket of, I am not in the pocket of no guy. 
Mm, no guy. I asked Andrew Wallace when he used to do that. When, when, him, when, when I was at Unspe, he asked me if he ever meet me. I mean, I like politician. The only politician when I ever talk with two politicians is the um, corrupt brother when he and Orius Daly from the uh, old Brigadista, the one that's a gangster for life. Him, Orius Daly. You understand? I never talk to him as a friend and him thing. Him tell me, say, boy, we, we and him can't stay there because nobody never vote for me. Vote for me. I'm a police and I'm a MP. I mean, I lock up him. I lock up him. Him voters them. You understand? Him constituents. So, we have, have to leave. The most corrupt police, commissioner of police, um, right arm to transfer me um, to St. Elizabeth. So, I'm going to no guy. Andrew Wallace, when he was a while, he can't ever tell us, boy, this is one police he never see. Because I'm not like politician, P. Right? The only politician can't tell him he ever talked to was Portia Simpson. Uh, three times. And the first time she talked to me and them things, she begged me for come on board, for be a bodyguard and them things, because you understand, apparently, based on the work I do, I sent on just out. I'm not like politician and them things. And, and it, it was because of one lady named Miss Young. Miss Young come from Payne Avenue. She original. Miss Young originally originated from Jonestown. Yeah, Miss Young and Fiara family them, they were they were the set of people them when march from Jonestown with Borough Boy them and them up and them got Payne Avenue and them commit the genocide and can't take over people them building them. So most of them are Payne Avenue well if they don't even know that. So we only live in a, a capture a capture um apartment in live and none of no family no own it. The real owners them. They must run with. So that you understand. And it was you know, and that's how me talk to Portia. And then another time and another time. You understand? And I can't tell you that she was very respectful and thing, but you know when somebody call you by your first name, you know, there must be something about it because you understand. You know, and she has a boy, oh I'm Chris, oh I'm uh, it's uh past two um now Whitfield town and them stop the vehicle say boy. Me no know them know say boy. Them um, sister P want to talk to me and that's it. never talk to Andrew Wallace. Me no know him. I never met him in a person. So when people say oh you yeah, get P and them thing from who? We not get P from nobody. Cause if we in licky licky and them thing we woulda sell. Woulda uh, hey we coulda get um we woulda get ten thousand pound already for take down a video. And the people them will kill rifle and one the British. I wanna take it cause we no we not do this in money. A whole heap of people cuss me and say we are food, but you know, say I they licky licky people them in you know, them I want them and have core beliefs. But we have core beliefs and them thing. Eh? And you know our our up background and upbringing, that's the reason why we have them thing. Eh? You understand? So as we say, we rather feel living in a hut and safe than feel living in a mansion like a prisoner. Well we can't say that away to lead to in a Jamaica. So moving on. So remember you know, Patrick Bale is home. You know. Remember when the murder occurred at Patrick Bailey's home? Yeah, man, the Prime Minister, personal lawyer, Andrew Wallace. It was Owen Ellington who was the Commissioner of Police. That's uh, Dr. Kevin Blake uncle. And Patrick Bailey was able and still able to avoid prosecution for the murder of Mr. Genius. So let's look at the early evidence from an investigator's point of view. Two men in a securely locked house. There was no breaking and entering into the house. One man was dead and the other man was alive. One dead and one alive. There's no breaking. So it must be the man who is alive who killed the other man. Why is the man who is alive not facing criminal charges with murder? So here's why Mr. Patrick Bailey is the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness's lawyer. And he has not faced any murder charges. And this has never happened in Jamaica before. Never, never happened before in Jamaica. Until then. So th they have made sure that the top cops, and remember, even after that, you know, guess what? The PMP came into power, you know. And them still, who them did have as the commissioner of police, you know, Owen Ellington. Because they know him corrupt. They know that he's corrupt. He's a very corrupt black man. Yeah, and him not like competition. Corrupt. And thief. Yes. Yeah, hey, I, I tell you this, you know. Did you know that? Did you know that when um, Colonel Trevor McMillan was commissioner of police, Owen Ellington's brother in law, schoolboy Richie, all um, them say my rear admiral, convicted drug dealer, you understand? Did you know that um, they sold a, 
a Carolina car you know, with guns to men from Rivalina, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Sell it, you know. Sell the police car and sell the government gun them, you know. And nothing happened to them, you know. So you know, most of the things here are some nice people them. And that are the family where and that are the family um, that is carrying on the legacy. So you're going to have an uncle that was commissioner of police and a nephew. So you know see what? You know see we're going straight banana republic. You understand? This is like hey, this is like when you have, uh, some um, theocratic government or dictator government around the world. Yeah, where you know say corruption, rampant. I that them I show you know what Jamaica. Is. Oh, we're not shame, you know. You understand? Until the world shame me. And then the world shame me with us ball and say, boy, because we're black. And we're a third world country and this and that. Yeah, and then them blame. Everybody else, you know, now blame themselves. So they have made sure that the top cops who are in charge of the police force protect this man in every way. That's why they appoint Dr. Kevin Blake. We are telling that. If they appointed MacArthur Sutherland, we now ask. We know so that would be the first, because them the man, you know. MacArthur Sutherland are not ordinary police, you know. We are telling that, you know. Them man, that, every, that and cross every teeth. And we soon tell you some more things, too. That's why we tell you, you know, Jamaica is en route to our next 18 in the Caribbean. That's why all our country them in the Caribbean laugh at Jamaica, you know, when they come on to the police force, them laugh. So those who are political blind and are dead, dead and dieted, rockstone and dieted labor rights who wants to dig and put their heads in the sand, I know different from the PMP criminal organization members and supporters who only see party colors and not justice. Justice must be blind, impartial and objective. Now we have seen corruption continue by this government by appointing one of the most corrupt deputy commissioner of police, Dr. Kevin Blake, who is the nephew of the most corrupt commissioner of police, Owen Ellington, who came this close to be extradited to the United States of America for drug trafficking charges or aiding and abetting drug traffickers. Dr. Kevin Beer used to work at NIB and one of the senior officers who leaked information to people of unsavory character and intelligence when he was there. The Americans don't trust him, you know. Now, people, let's go a little further. Do you ever think why men like Rev from the 90s crew, convicted gunman and rapist Jack Ewer, who use a gun, yes, who use a gun to hold down a woman and take her precious gift between her legs, and who instructed the senior officers at NIB to sign clean and reputable intelligence report for these convicted criminals of various, for of various crimes? Who you think do that? Who you think do that? And guess what? You see, all of the scandal that came out from the, with the FLA thing and these corrupt um, um, People who signed the police officers who signed these documents, who gave them instruction to do it. You notice there's no no one retiring their interest in public. You have to send them home early. Nobody resigned. No one is accountable. So all of, so it's just a corruption that continue, you know. All of these things, you know. And then them and then we have to say, boy, you know what? Both of them corrupt, but the one are least corrupt. How about we can't get one of those saying you're corrupt, man? When that gonna happen? So we have to wait till after the next election, then after that now they have to be somewhere to get rid of the corrupt one them and find because and find someone within the party where no corrupt and now look out for no corrupt people. Because it's unfortunate, you know, that we live in a we people them live in a Jamaica. And the only thing that the Jamaica we, even in our diaspora can say, boy at least that one I least corrupt. How the hell we reach a stage like that? That one is at least corrupt. Why we can't have a government that is not corrupt? Why we have to have one that is least corrupt? The other one is the most corrupt. And that one is at least. Why we can't get one when they corrupt? Because if we get one when they corrupt, we know say, the first thing, you know, from the top, we tell you, you know. So we tell you, you know, all along, them just go along with the winner who are popular and then just keep fooling the people. Yeah, five murder happen, them come out and them give speech, um, yeah, well, you know what, we, be, uh, we support the death penalty and this and that and the people them feel good say, yeah, and then people are sending one video say, boy, this is what them say, you know. I pretend, them I pretend, because them are just the same. If a man grew up 
born and grow in a Jamaica, you never live nowhere else in the world. And you're going to say, as the leader of the country, you say, you don't believe in a death penalty. So why, why because I'm a majority of the population, believe in it now, you believe in it? You're not a core belief, man. You're a pretzel. You're not a spine. So you just go along with the weed. So that's why you, you dangerous just like the other guy. It's just that you're least dangerous. You're dangerous, but you're the least dangerous. And the other one is the most dangerous. Why we can't have somebody that is not dangerous? Why? Why? The third party candidate can't now gain a traction in a Jamaica. The last somebody that have that status of popularity was Bruce Golden, and he didn't gain any traction. So as you know, so Jamaica is a two-party state system. We could have money a little more and buy vote and them thing. There. One thing with the people them, even when we give them money, they still have to vote for who they want to vote for. Some of them. But the thing is that now, the way the voting system stay, if a man buy a, buy a vote and you don't vote, he can't know if you vote for him or not. And I saw, <laughs> so we we'll continue the journey. So do you know which officer in the Jamaica Constabulary Force? Do you want to know which officer is in the Jamaica Constabulary Force? No politician could not get to do this kind of criminality. Yeah, like signing, you know, documents with convicted drug dealers and say, boy, the money honest, ethical and decent. They couldn't get Assistant Commissioner MacArthur or Sutherland to do that. That's why them never select him as Commissioner of Police. That's why we tell you that Jamaica is in road now, uh, in next 18. You have to understand, you have to have a top. The person who's at the top of the, the leadership of the Jamaica Constabulary Force to lead. Yeah. And this man who never do the police work, he never even got caught in his life. Is that this is a man with junk and right off a police vehicle, them cover up that. So, pure corruption, you know, you understand. And a man, hey, look. And a man who have no infraction in his 87, 37 years. So if MacArthur Sutherland joined the police force at 18, so MacArthur 37 at 18, so MacArthur Sutherland have 37, yeah, 37 years, it, yeah, 30, it go on to 30, 37 years of service. So I'm about 55. And MacArthur Sutherland, n don't have any infraction on him record. This man never been this man never been labeled as a rogue police by the DEA, same corrupt or by the FBI. MacArthur Sutherland so never crash on right off in the government vehicle because him junk and then him having an uncle will cover it up for him. This man is the epitome of what a commissioner of police to be. But guess what? As we tell you already, you know, the corruptors, the one them with the doctorates and the P A the, the um the one them have the doctorates and the PhDs and the masters and the bachelors and and the associates and on and we have a business. They know what MacArthur saw them because they not take talk. They more have to know say them that are my boy. I saw them talking, you know, yeah. Like all him now. Yeah man, you know say I'm my boy Kevin Blake get commissioner of police. And when you hear somebody say that, you know, them literally mean what they're saying. You know. Because when somebody said that about somebody, because they have secret for that person, that's why they can't say that. Oh, nobody can call. Oh, no, oh, nobody can say, boy, put on my boy. Because I'm going into no guy. Period. And I see him thing with MacArthur Sutherland. They may not, everybody did not know so they don't choose him because Jamaica is a, is a corrupt country. And you have to be corrupt to elevate, you understand? And even although it's a space now for the deputy committee, if they give MacArthur Sutherland a lucky, a lucky him lucky. I see them try to see a face like them try. Them just do that for, me, for, for, him, um, for me, um, people who are honest, ethical and decent. They say, boy, I see at least we have, a, we, we have at least one police officer up in the deputy commissioner circle who is not corrupted. One. Can you believe? A police force, you know. Yeah. So, the Mongo can point to say one. One. Really. And then you don't expect say they see and look at that. No wonder why even at, uh, you can't see it. All, you, you know so what is happening? See all police are using all them sixteen um, butter lick people. In the free they see him when him lit the gun, the pin malfunction and fire shot and lick off him head. Might as well him just make the man hug up the M sixteen and just deal with him. Can I try to take away him gun? How can a fool fool police handle him that? You understand? But you know, we just tell you what I go on, you know. So you just watch it, you know. Can I, Remember, you know, the people them go after the leaders. When you the leaders, lead the people follow. 
But we're not no leaders with leaders of Jamaica. You know? we, have le we have leaders who follow the people. So whatever, wherever the wind is blowing and what is popular, that is what they're going with. So Jamaican people, when you're complaining about the police force being corrupt, it is because your government wants to be led by corrupt people who will do their bidding and protect their cronies, who are the educated criminals. My mind Patrick Bailey, I'm going to go to school and have law school and have him degree. You understand? So I tell them, them take all of you Jamaican people for fooling. All of the elitists, them, you know. Yeah, all of you, them take every one of you for fooling. If you tell you, say, two men in our house and one dead. Nobody no broke in our house. That's in our news, you know. No breaking and entering. And the man is dead. A dopey kill him. And then Fitzbailey with him lie itself come out. So you know. Uh, the man I want to use that against him. I said, boy, you know, because of that and all them things. And then the whole heap of coke with them find at the airport. them, And nobody, in your, you know, charge nobody. And all them things. Because he's there to protect them. If MacArthur Sutherland was the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of crime, you don't know some big wig down at jail for them two big um, pallets of cocaine for fine uh, Ian Fleming's airport. But you think them are giving that the portfolio there? You must be crazy. Them not giving that the portfolio there. Because too much of them friends are going to prison. But no that silly, but you don't know, even the same judge, them, apart from Cabal. So the entire system is corrupt. Jamaica's system, they need for revamp. How we talk, what will happen? What? Some people, as we hear Muta Baruka talk all well, they have to, they're going to be a revolution because too much corruption and the poor people them tired of it. And the people them frustrated. Because when you say I know when you when you as a little regular man out on the street and you hear, you witness, see a man who a commissioner of police have to resign from the from the force in a night. Resign because of corruption. You understand? And then you say Fee never become commissioner of police. This is like Jim Brown uh, and this is like Jim Brown and then him the jail and a Fee so and Jati, you know, around um Tivoli Gardens. But the only difference is that now, and an Owen Ellington's son, I'm never here. <laughs> yeah, cause him make him break the police force, you know. And him not got three ranks, you know. Him don't even know for right at entry. You understand? And then put him up the epitome of criminality and dishonesty. And display right in front of you. I don't care who want Bex, who want please, who want to unsubscribe and who want to leave. Can YouTube not pay my bills? So from now, don't expect anything new from the appointment of Dr. Kevin Blake. As the Batnist passed from one corrupt soldier, yes man, Major Anthony Anderson, who them turn turn into them turn him into in the police. To date, we cannot point to one thing to show that he did want an incorruptible police force. Yeah man, Anthony and this name not do nothing for you. Yeah, we are sure you why. We are sure you. Why? You understand? Or else if him him he did not come in like police force to change anything in you know, it make the force incorruptible. Him just come there for protect um the prime the prime minister liar. Yeah man Patrick um, Bailey yeah yeah man you understand so that was his job to pro protect Patrick Bailey. Or else, and him bringing him friend, you know, from the army and turn him into assistant, commission, assistant superintendent of police. So we we'll are see if the man kick him out of the police force. Because he's supposed to leave to with, 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 um, with Anderson. Anderson doesn't do nothing for the police force. Well, he never lift the, the moral of the police force. You know, him do some things by getting legislation, by talk out. And he don't know, you understand what I'm saying? Or else, if this man did want to show him no want an incorruptible police force, or else he would promote Detective Sergeant Hubert Lewillin to at least Deputy Superintendent of Police. And then you'd have Hubert Lewillin photograph all over Jamaica say, this is what we want. This is the kind of person we want in the Jamaica Conservative Air Force. Some a police officer like, like Hubert Lewillin. No. Because Hubert Lewis make them lock up a member of parliament, Darrell Vaz. And for that, he's been punished. You think, they, you can't say, but they not say, hey, look, why, when you're honest and you're ethical, nobody look for no promotion in the police force, you have to be thief. So that's why you have police right now, <laughs> well, you know, where well, they're a thief at night time. The OST, yeah, man, from Kingston Eastern. Kingston Western, 
Kingston Central. And them are broken people them store downtown and a thief them them goods. Police are do it from the OST only special thieves. Whenever the government is corrupt, the people can see from afar. There was no way that one can justify the actions of these people to continue the dynasty of a criminal family by appointing the nephew of the most corrupt commissioner of police, Owen Ellington. Dr. Kevin Blake. And these are some of the reasons why we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is telling you that Jamaica is ripe to be another 80 in the Caribbean Sea because of corrupt leaders. Only stupid, inept, and managed police officer or soldier would want to give their life for a corrupt government. Let me repeat myself. Only a stupid, inept, and maladroit police officer or soldier would want to give their life for a corrupt government. Thank God I had left when I had saw the writing on the wall when Dr. Peter Phillips was then the nas um, National Security Minister of Jamaica and all I could see were corrupt police officers being promoted. We don't know or have all the answers to the problems facing the Jamaican people. But when the people believe that they, are, they have enough of the capital of Jamaica, Kingston, will fall first to the barbecue of Jamaica. Yeah, we say the barbecue of Jamaica, we talk about the criminal in a um, 80. And you know, he not, he not hide him face. I'm going to show you, say, he's the most powerful guy in Jamaica. Why, you don't know, say, people with money behind him. But the only thing, the difference now with Jamaica, we don't know who are going to have money behind them. Um, but we know say PM, uh, uh, Tiliba, the drug dealer from Clarendon, the same one where um, PFA, what his name? Kevin, where brother, the, the, the counselor guy from Clarendon, where that was doing his master, the 29-year-old 29, 29 guy. Because you know say a drug money um, w um, win film campaign, you know, by vote. So in a country where the government is inherently corrupt, the poor, are the ones who suffer the most because they can see that the people who are in charge have criminal tendencies. They prosecute and persecute their opponents and put their friends in position of power to protect them from prosecution. I will tell you already about the case of um, the brother named Patrick Bailey. You understand? So let us continue. The corruption continues with the appointment of Deputy Commissioner of Police, Dr. Kevin Blake, the Navy of the most corrupt commissioner of police, Owen Ellington. And I would like, all of you were, yeah, know me, I know Owen Ellington, I own a, uh, own a OE a friend, me a OE and a friend. From OE, did they have patrol and them things there. Me know say OE a, a thief in police. Me know that. Me a one policeman, I run behind people. I didn't know Francis Fabs. I used to run Francis Fabs. I used to bodyguard Francis Fabs before he become commissioner of police. Yes. Yours truly and Bobby Reds. We used to bodyguard him. Because when he come in and assault him, he used to request that we bodyguard him. Cause because we had we the boy them did free that. And a bicycle we not ride in the night them time, you know. You understand? Yeah, we all have Greenwich Charm with him up at um Waltham and Landguard Avenue, right at the corner there, sir. Until him go home. And then we ride back at once beer. And what we get? Because we didn't look for nothing. We just do a job on them thing now. We still didn't have to reach work early in the morning. And I like to so we not get anything. We don't get anything from him or anything like that. Nothing, nothing special. You understand? I just saw it go. And when he become commissioner of police, we never had to run behind him. Two days before him left, we go up to him office and them thing there. And we, you know, I was the first person to ever go up by commissioner of police, never have an appointment, and he able to, um, to see the commissioner of police. I asked Hubert Lowell and Barry and all them guys there. Because when I called him and tell him, say, boy, I was there. He said, boy, I'm stopping him for doing him. I'm going to talk. I hear him not see me. I'm going to run behind people. And then he start blaming me for forsaking him and not, um, you know, follow up with him because he never know him. I have so many things to do. And, but all of the people them, you know, who came after and him know them after, you know, them did run behind him. But I knew him from me that training school as kid. I'm going to run behind people. Not because I know him and him think that I know some mistake. Yeah, so... I just saw it go. So those who turn a blind eye, disregard and ignore these injustices are no different from the criminals they claim to oppose. As in as justice must be blind, impartial, fair and objective. So as we delve further into the issue, it becomes apparent 
that individuals like Reb Sum the 90 screw and convicted gunman Jacure have received favorable treatment from senior officers at NAB, NIB. We don't know if um, Dr. Kevin Blake is one of the signatories to all of these convicted drug dealers, how much money run, and people who convicted. For, oh, a man. That's why I tell you, hey, why? It just corruption us, and there's no sanction. We don't see no accountability for the people who sign all of these um, documents. All of these things that um, came to the public for, I want to see Commissioner of Police, Major Anthony and they say, we haven't seen they done anything. All of, the, all of these police officers who sign all of these corrupt documents, them know themselves, you know. Them still at the same division, no transfer, nothing, no demotion, they no not send them home. But yet, you know, yet when um, Vibes Cartel never convicted for a crime, you know. But yet, you know, when Vibes Cartel um, get him license gun, do all that, like Vibes Cartel never have no, um, no record or anything like that. So they don't have to pay nobody for writing up no, um, no report and vibes cartel never politically connected because i see um, pmp criminal organization government say at them see man peter phillips them say oh that the dirty boy they have gone i just saw it got them just, i saw them call him straight you understand and i saw them take it away and give it to them friend and now it's more corrupt than ever but you know see no accountability you know here the same people them in the media the same people them in the gleaner CVM, TVG and all these media houses nationwide. I say, boy, no, we can't operate as a banana republic. Oh, all of them, no, they them not do that because of them friends. These are cabal, you know. You understand? Major Anthony Anderson, happy redance, man, because he never do anything for the police force. All he do was continue the corruption, whether, you know, real or perceived. So Jamaica is heading down a destructive path due to corrupt leaders prioritizing their interests over the well-being of the people. So it is time for all the Jamaican people to demand accountability and transparency from their government. The corrupt reign must come to an end before Jamaica becomes another 80 in the Caribbean Sea. Jamaica, known for its vibrant culture and beautiful beaches, faces economic challenge that some experts fear could lead to some, you know, for, in, in, you know, for it to become the next 80. You understand? In the Caribbean, once, prosper, once a prosperous French colony, Haiti, is now one of the most poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere, plagued by political instability and natural disasters. So, oh, a country that was once prosperous now become the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Because, guess what? Corruption starts from the top. You always have a corrupt leader. So Jamaica debt to Jamaica's debt to GDP ratio is over hundred percent, one of the highest in the world. Them so right now it's at seventy percent, which that means that this government low it. And then the Prime Minister, the brother on him, Nigel, Nigel Clark, smart brother. You understand? Um, it's just that him kind of naive and them thing there. You can't make people as a minister of government, making a little idiot can call you and talk to you. You're not supposed to be that accessible, easy, and then people have you all over on the internet. No, no guy is not supposed to call you and you talk to him on the phone and listen to him. No guy is not tell you this or that and, and worry about what critics about you. No, you don't worry about that. Because just so it goes, everybody not going to like you. Because remember, say, in a politics, you have opponents. And opponents are always use them surrogates to do things. And for plaster, they make you look bad. Yeah, you stay away from that. We don't know anything, we can't say anything corrupt about Dr. Um, um, Dr. Clark, but you know, he's one of the six three members of the of parliament. So we can't say him corrupt on him, thing, but him can't speak up, you know, like how you see Warmington speak up. Because you know how, how it is on him, thing, because in our politics on him, thing, you, you, you would think that uh, that is the people that choose who they want to lead the party. When we say, uh, when we say lead the party, we are talking the leader for the party. Because it would have been better enough them change the system that people vote for the leader you know, and not the party. And maybe we would have got a better system. But they're not going to want it like that because you have to understand, you know, people have power and I'm like, give it up, you know, because they love it. Remember, I see him guy where a prime minister now, he used to say, boy, hey, boy, the man is supposed to do no more than two terms. You know, you say nothing about that now because he love it because, remember, you know, a guy just did it and nobody in the politics, you know, for help people, you know, what's in it for me, you know, I tell you that, you know.
You understand? So, you know, Jamaica relies heavily on tourism for revenue, leaving it vulnerable to global economic downturns. Jamaica, Jamaica's unemployment rate, especially among young people, um, could lead to social unrest and crime. But guess what? Most of them don't want to work because the amount of money a man has work for. Oh, if you stay, so you work, that's the bus here. You better you stay here. I tell you straight up. If, a, if somebody, a, you can't say a lazy person, lazy. If you are work, and all you do is work for bus here, not even lunch money, so it'll cost you for work. You better stay here. Yeah. I tell you that. So who, have, so who the economy a benefit and the economy a grow? It not benefit the little man where I work. I, it a benefit the private sector and the thief them. So them are still slavery, you know. But them will pretend they are slavery and give you something and say, boy, I disappear. And you pay taxes and them things. But yet still, every week you have to borrow money for your work. And in a day, when you get paid, you pay back debt and you're still in a debt. So what's it, why, why sense? that's why enough of you them not work. Some of them lazy still low, you know, but what's the sense of a man going to work like all the call centre and when he go to work, he may owe money because he may have to borrow money for go to work. If Jamaica don't, ad, do, does not address these issues, it could face a future similar to 80s. The government and the people of Jamaica must work together to diversify the economy, attract foreign investment and improve governance. Guess what now? You see the workers of Jamaica, them sell them out you know, from the PMP criminal organization date. You know. Jamaican workers now have no rights. The PMP, I'm, but guess what? The people, them, as I tell you, you know, as I've said before, you know, it's just, I, it's a two-headed dragon, you know. But if you chop off one head, I see him dragon, you know. Because I have to understand, you know. The, remember, say, the, 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 from the head go down to it, I'm the tail of the dragon or dragon. So it's a two-headed dragon. So if you chop off one head, the dragon's still alive. And that data war happening to the Jamaican people. So the people them we work all in the hotel industry with these foreigners who uh, own the hotel them, why them not on the rights. May I read where a man a four year him lose him work and he's supposed to go to the IDDP uh, 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 Industrial Dispute Tribunal and all kind of rigmarole and them things. By the time him get the money, the investors them gone out of Jamaica and him not go get the money. Who you think do that? The PMP criminal organization do that. The labor right them to fix it because the whole of them I see is a two headed dragon system. That's why we tell you, you know, as Muta Baruka said, whether well, or not you want to believe it, a revolution is on the horizon. So just wait. Only time will tell if Jamaica can avoid the fate of becoming the next 80 in the Caribbean. Only time will tell. So the video explored the potential similarities between Jamaica and 80. Two Caribbean country, countries with complex histories and unique cultures. Both nations have faced significant challenges from their poverty and political instability struggles to their vibrant art scenes and resilient communities. However, with Jamaica's recent economic growth and increase in global influence, some experts predict it could become the next 80 in the region. So join us as we delve into the reason behind the intriguing comparison and consider the future of this dynamic Caribbean nation. As we say, you know, so this channel is not for the goldfishes, so you know them gone a long time. Because <laughs> them not here and entertainment thing this. So, you know, so it is beside the Dominican Republic. And guess what? Them not taking that even and some over there. And look at them. We Jamaica came to take care of itself and them have to take Asian half on to Jamaica. So why why Dominica Republic not take them? Because them say the Asian them when them come in after them, them them disrupt them cause chaos in them country. That's why them even all the Asian them were born in a Dominica, they might take away, which is wrong still, you understand? Who has stand up for them? Nobody. Because the Dominica them are black people in it, just that they have clear skin. But they don't say them black in it. They say them are Dominican as if Dominican is a race. Low low self esteem people them too. They don't love themselves either, although they are black people. Yeah, you ask the Dominican people, them, why? You're black, uh, um, well, you know, you're you black or you're, 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 you know, or Hispanic. Them say they are Dominican. Dominican is not a race. Low self esteem, that too. But they don't want the Asian them over there. So, oh, we know how to take it Asian. Well, okay, we, we, can, we have so many people on the streets of Jamaica who live on the streets and people where they're in an abject poverty and you want to pick up Asian um, orphans. 
Jamaica might live for regret this. You hear the Asian politicians say, Jamaica might live for regret this. Leave the Asian people them alone. Them know what you understand. They pit in them still. You have whole for half an inch there. What you try to say? You when you came to take care of your own self. So we are telling you, you know, we, we, you know. So we, we are giving some context now from DC. So the latest violence in Haiti underscore the powerful sway of armed gangs, which have profited from collusion with the authorities, institutional negligence, and political chaos since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise, Moise in 2021. And the reason why them all kill him too, because him should have, I saw them stay there, you know, them not like to give up power, you know. Him, they, him should have gone like about two years before and him hold on to power and all kind of things. So they just decided, boy, hey, time to send him to the departure. Look. All him wife, them say involved. And I saw him lose him life. And guess where them find the master, um, some of killers them. Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica is criminal's paradise. We are the Jamaica young police and I've been telling people that from... More than a decade now that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. What do you expect? So the, the gang sowing terror in the impoverished Caribbean island have morphed into de facto overlords. Now they are demanding the host of Prime Minister Ariel Henry, whose successor would have been sworn in on February 7th if elections scheduled for 2023 had occurred. So Election should have been scheduled last year and him not make it go on because he won't nobody not vote for him, you know. I'm just be you understand I saw them place around you know. Black people that are getting you know, and them corrupt to the core. Thief them. I mean, why? We are say them honest. They them a thief, they're a thief. They don't feel let him back in our country because I'm a thief. So here's a look at the chokehold. The gangs have on the con this country of eleven million million inhabitants. Then Jamaica want to send our young people them from the army and the police house to go where they go lose their life. You have 11 million people, are three, three times the, time the population of Jamaica. Why, why Jamaica to go, go give them life for them? And them to fight for themselves. It's a, it's a civil war. I go go on in them country because of corruption. You understand? You know, see, when we near barbecue, you know, see, a barbecue, I, I'm my de facto um, president in, a, in, um, in, in a 80. So gang have existed in Haiti for decades and have been particularly active since the mid-1990s when the government disbanded the army fearing military coups. So you see it go? So the people them were in a, in a power in a them country, they them corrupt. So that's why they have to disband all the army. At, for, at least in Jamaica we're not a coup yet. Uh, you understand? But coup normally happens one time, sometime when them get the... The consent from the population say no we're tired of them people them too corrupt and the people them start demonstrate and riot and them there'll be so much of them who have dead and the army just go and just you know lock up a prime minister a president and lock up the others them and them just disband the government and them become a government as so cool normally work and them have all like powers and once them are say once them are do where you know where the the powers that be in the world world structure Decide, say, all right, yeah, we can work with them guys because yeah, them guys are yeah, criminal and they will make certain so we get what we want. Yeah, make them stay in the power. I just saw it go just like with Henry. Yeah, yeah you have to understand, you know, so politics work, international, you understand. So if our expert says, a tipping point came in 2018 when the government turned turn to the gangs to quell a vast popular uprising demanding political change and the end to corruption. So I go on then you know, in a 2018 use the same gang. This is all like um Dudu Sarzeeks. Then the government used Dudu Sarzeeks, just like what PJ Partisan do in a 1999. He used Zeeks for control of the PMP criminal organization supporters them in the capital. So them never rise up that time. And then um, PJ Partisan and P um Porsche Sim Similar go and visit Zeeks. Uh, down at Matty's Lane. Yeah, them go down and go look for you and hug him up and thank him. You understand? Whilst all over Waterhouse and all of them places, they unleash them and police all get shot dead and all them things because of them corruption. And guess what? At the next election, the same people them vote for the same government. So I just saw it go. Because, hey, politics to them, politics is not about change, you know. It's like, it's a sports. And from my party, no, me a diehard PMP. 
criminal organization supporters. So them can't think. Ethics decency and they don't care about what it happened and them thing. Even when PJ Patterson win the next election, after that, there was nobody up at PMP headquarters. They built shock because they can't believe they win again. That's why they tell us that Jamaica is a PMP country because people them remind them they have an attention span of goldfishes. Yeah, goldfish. They are goldfish. Five seconds, they don't remember what it happened and they turn. So that's why PMP love them. And they know, you have one the most corrupt and one least corrupt. Why we can't get a government that is not corrupt in Jamaica? Why we can't have a leader that is not least corrupt? We're not supposed to have no, no leader we're corrupt, man. So when the people them them you know they want change and the a, 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 a minimum we say the people they want to increase you know imagine you know a pe a person at eighty a live on a dollar US a day you know hey hey look here in a eighty you know people have to use all mud you know you know say mud where you walk on and use it and bake for people eat oh my god bake the mud you know yes like it bake the mud like how you that bake. Dumpling or you know a fried dumpling, then bake it and sell it you know like cookie you know in a eighteen a port of prince and them place you know the dirty mud you know when I go to it and people buy that and eat it you know so as much as Jamaican people are live little are better than them you know so that's why I went to them people even in America and Florida and them thing there black people in black people well they, hey may I tell you this whether or not you want to believe in any agency whether government. Government, local, federal, or even private sector. Nobody don't like to work with the Asian them, you know. Cause through them, them, them boy, I me mean, I tell you, you know. So them will work for at them why <laughs> minimum why you know why people still get you know um, them pay people you know um, pennies to the dollar in Florida because of them because them just they, remember you know, when somebody not use something and I get something now, but then could I get more? Them not care about the more. Them just glad for what them I get now. You understand? However, so you know, so for so, you know, so for decades, you know, that uh, you know, they, they allow the gangs them run a run a muck in a eighty until, you know, you understand. So subsequent massacres by gangs reveal their inst instrumentation by powers, the, by the powers that be. Frederick Thomas, a researcher at the Tricontinental Centre in Belgium, told AFP. E.T. has become a narco state, said Jean Marie Theodat, a geographer at Pantheon Sorbonne University in Paris. He believes Henry has been objectively complicit in the takeover of the countries by bandits. <laughs> yes, so him now, you know, as, as I will tell you, you, know, you play with puppy, you go get, you play with puppy, you must get flee. So, Henry, you know, so him and one of them will propel the, the criminal, them, you know, he lost this way the man saying, because them things yeah, come from intelligence and research. So, he said, now, um, he be, so this is uh, you know, uh, um, Pontian um, is a come from um, Jean Marie Theodat, a geographer, a geographer at Pontian Sorbonne University in Paris, that are France. Because you know, France was or the original colonizer you know, for, eight, for 80, you know. And the Asian, you know, um, the, uh, Toussaint, the overture. I have a man, he's a Jamaican, you know, them deported from Jamaica, you know, a bookman, you know. A bookman got 80 to start the war, you know. You, any, you, may I tell you? Most Jamaicans don't even know that. You understand? Because I remember you know, when you come on to history, you, know, you have to pay for it. You have to pay for learning them things. Them, or you have to go to a library. They not going to make you know them something. It's a Jamaican where the British them deport and send them to Haiti. Not knowing so when they send them there, it's going to cause problems for the, the, um, the French. So, Bookman are the mastermind behind the revolution with Tissan Louis Overture. You know. Bookman are come all America, come fight in Louisiana and them places eh, and create a French colony. In America, a Jamaican, you know. When we say Jamaican, he's not born a Jamaican, he come from Africa. A bookman, a slave. So before we have tacky with it, have bookman. And the British said, no, boy, the amount of time he may escape off of a plantation and guess who captured him and hand him back to the slave trader. They see maroons them, that's why we say maroons, them are our friend. They are our friend. So them say, boy, you know what? 
based on because Bookman have so many so much skills. He have so many skills in a war for you, them say, you know. But I will send him got eight, you know, we don't want him and them thing. And they don't want to kill him either. And that's how EAT stand up and fight and def defeat Napoleon Bonaparte. And guess what? Then you know after all them defeat the, the uh, Napoleon Bonaparte in you know, a battle of them, the battle you understand? Um in a EAT. Then um they were able to use um, the American them warship and for all eight years hostage and them sign them have to sign. They have to sign sign money for pay. Eight are the only country in the world you know have to pay its kidnappers ransom money <laughs> for them freedom. I saw it go. Eight. So I don't even them don't even finish pay it off yet. So imagine somebody kidnap you and then you fight and free yourself and you have to pay them for now you will live your life. So that's how it happened. So for over two hundred years eight I pay for France. Yeah, France appeared them reparation money when I the other way around. So that's why you say you know, a jackass here on a level. But yet you know, you know, say all of these people remember they they um the Jew them get all kind of reparation from the Germans, but guess what? Black people don't get that. Black people not desert. black people no reparation of you. You just suck it up and uh, move on. So as I said, as so, you know, the, the man um, Theo that says that he believes that Henry has been objectively complicit in the takeover of the country by bandits. So he, he allowed them for you understand, like influential gang, lead, gang leader like Jimmy Barbecue Cherizier, a former policeman who took the lead in the latest violence. For Theo that Barbecue is a Frankenstein who has broken free from his master. So I did, I, 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 Henry, you know, Henry was Frankenstein, was barbecue master. I must say, boy, I miss him, I can't make more money on him thing now become, uh, so him just, him just unleash the jackals, them, and the population. You understand? And guess what, now? you know, as usual, charity trick. Majority of people in the country poor, so all them have to do is give poor people them a little thing, and just by doing that, him are giving them support. So I'm like that, you know. Yeah, hunt him down if you don't have the necessary equipment them and know where much the international community can won't catch him because the people them are protect him and them now got up. So Theo that said the, the gangs have become more powerful than the country's political and security institutions, be, beginning be, becoming autonomous power centers. Them say them no accountable to nobody and them are do them own thing. Armed with weapons often smuggled from the United States, gangs have proliferated, thriving on drug trafficking, racketeering, kidnapping and extortion. That's why we tell you say, Jamaica is going to be the next 80. Remember, you know, there's a man named Meverell Smith why kidnapping cut out in a Jamaica. You know, and where Meverell Smith not getting a promotion or nothing for that. Because through my PMP, criminal organization, activists in our police force, and plus, there's other things to it, okay? He's not squeaky clean either. We know Meverell, and we're just as it as it is, yeah. Okay, you understand? You know, see? So, they now exercise control over 80% of the city of Port au Prince. And their nearly unchecked criminality led to the collapse of public institutions, culminated in the assassination of President Jovenel Moise. So, even if Jimmy barbecue, Cherizier uses political, even revolutionary rhetoric. The gangs don't have a political or social plan, Tam, um, Thomas said. What interest them have is power and territorial control. He said they have no interest in legitimate power under an institutional framework. Theodat said the gang want Henry Garn, but that doesn't mean someone like Barbecue aspires to political office. Instead, the gangs want to ensure their domination while continuing to profit, it, profit from their luc luc lucrative illegal activities. Theodat said that in the long term, Haiti needs to mobilize more young people, mainly through conscription to strengthen the police and armed forces. On the political front, any return would be another step into chaos. A total denial of the disorder caused by his usurpation. Usurpation. Use them say my usurper. 
of power, he said, adding that Asians are to be able to choose their leaders. So nobody never choose Henry as Prime Minister. He's a usurper. But the government doesn't want to make any concession. Pierre Experance, Executive Director of Asian National Human Rights Defense Network, said, The international community can help and facilitate a political agreement, Experance said, adding that it should listen more closely to civil society and end the support for a government that has led the nation into gang hands. So I saw it going on when you have a government that is corrupt. Them and over people them to criminals. And now the criminals them, them become jackals and them can't control them. So the jackals, I said, them want the people them will give them all of this free reign. Them want them out. Yeah, so that's why now you hear some people all in Mexico I say, hey, look, all of the people them will be in like barbecue, Jimmy barbecue, cherries are. Yeah, them people they're supposed to get some sanction from the international community and even extradition to the United States of America. Because if you understand America is the capital for you, well, whether or not you want to believe it. Because them say, boy, they're my last beacon of hope for humanity and in the world. So them say, you know, you understand. So both the United Nations and United States support a multinational mission led by Kenya to combat the gangs while calling for an urgent political transition. So we can't tell you now. After the, all of the violence kick up and it start increase, and <laughs> after Henry left Kenya, Kenya people them say, hey, you know now send our soldiers them go down there in the cars. Them came, them came and fight, them came and protect we here in Kenya. Where them go? And them not speak French. Now nah, let them stay. You understand? So Kenya president say, uh, you know when I send our people them down there, I thirty you have eleven million people down there. Them for figure it out for themselves. Majority of them poor, and guess what? Them will join with barbecue, Jimmy barbecue, which is reason. Where's Guy Philippi? Him say man for be president. That's our next convicted drug dealer from America. And him say man for be president for 80. So he take a, a, a page out of the Jamaican government playbook because him say, yeah, him say a convicted drug dealer in a Jamaica reach all the way to Privy Council. So we know the morals, no decency, nothing anymore. So anything goes. You understand? A man convicted for um, saying no, no, I'm, I'm dishonest. Uh, well, second chance, make him become president. <laughs> you understand? I saw it go. Why be I tell you? Nothing. Everything just fall apart. But Washington, to, Washington continues to back a very unpopular political class, strengthen it to fight the very gangs it relies on, which is completely contradictory, Thomas says. For Theodot, any foreign mission that can help us deal with these bandits is welcome, but it must inspire confidence. The Asian people have not chosen the hand that will come to their aid. He said, noting that Kenya had no experience in the Caribbean, and he added that what can a thousand Kenyan policemen, even aided by a few hundred soldiers from other countries, do against thousands of gangsters armed to the teeth? Nothing. Madness. So, we we'll continue. So, is the fear gang boss Jimmy Barbecue Cherries are now the most powerful man in Haiti? Yes. Jimmy Barbecue Cherries are Cherries here. Our Cheruza, we man him, say he's the leading Asian poor against corrupt government forces, but expert point to a dark and violent past. Murals, murals in the pauperized Asian slums, he rule lighten to the Argentina gorilla Ernesta Che Guevara. Wow. Che Guevara is a total different man. You know, that I'm on a fight with Castro and, you know, the people then betray me in, a, in a, um, South America. Yeah, them, well, them betray him. So in interviews, he, po he poses as a God-fearing Caribbean Robin Hood and celebrate freedom fighters and agitators, including Fidel Castro, Thomas Sankara and Malcolm X. <laughs> I, ma I like Martin Luther King too, the Asian gang boss Jimmy. Cherizier told New York New Yorker journalist John Lee Anderson when they met last year, but he didn't like fighting with guns. I like fighting with guns. Yeah, so he must say he like Martin Luther King, you know. But Martin Luther King never fight with guns, but he said he like fight with guns. So this 
the stunning gang led insurrection against Haiti's government has captured Cherizier, a Rafi's rifle wielding 47 year old mobster, into international head headlines. A place history suggests he enjoys. So, him love the spotlight and the camera on him. Over the past five years, the Asian outlaw who has emerged as a leading spokesman for the gang uprising against Prime Minister Ariel Henry has welcomed a succession of foreign reporters to gangland domain, hoping to justify what he calls his noble, if bloody crusade, defend his country, famished urban poor. I am not a thief. Yes, sir. I am not involved in kidnapping. I am not a rapist. I am just calling out a social fight. Cherizier told the Associate Press last year while sitting outside a bullet packed house. In an interview in 2022 with Vice, Cherizier called his ragtag Vavela Army a social, political structure and force that is fighting on behalf of the vulnerable. Expert says the truth about Cherizier who is best known as simply Bakio, that a barbecue, is far more complicated and, sav and savory. Born during the 1970s during the brutal corrupt reign of Baby Dat Duvalier, Cherizier, as previously said, he was one of eight siblings and lost his father at age five. The children grew up in Delmas, one of the rundown Porter Spring community he now runs by a mother who arced fried chicken on the streets. By Cherry's uh, accounts, it was his mother's occupation that earned him the nickname Barbecue, although many claim that a habit of incinerating his victims was the real reason. So I lie, my tell, but you understand. And we believe say, uh, because him incinerated his victim was the real reason why I'm calling him Barbecue. Man, a corrals and that in a man. Before establishing himself, as he ate his most influential gang, Kingpin, Theresa was a member of the country's national police. He worked for United Department Tele. They maintain the order, a riot squad whose members have been accused of shooting protesters dead. Hey, it's a place where them people protest hey, because of the pov poverty over there is, boy, it's palpably in a man. So, Asian. Asian protests in Porter Spring to demand Ariel Henry Henry's resignation. It is police motto is Portuguese et Servi, which means to protect and serve. But Cherry Ezer, who has also public admire Francois, Francois Papa Doc de Valier, Baby Doc's father, appear not to have honor, honored those values. He was expelled from the police force in 2018 for allegedly involved in a litany, litany, litany of crimes, including a horrific massacre that year in a slum called La Saline, in which 71 people were killed, seven women raped, and 400 homes torched. My God! A, hmm. Cherizo, who leads a gang alliance called the G9 Family and Allies, has denied wrongdoing, but the former police officer has been sanctioned by both US and UN for his alleged crimes. The G9, some G9 control some of Port au Prince's largest slums and most important roads, arteries, allowing Cherusa to paralyze the country several times, cutting off petrol supplies and forcing schools and hospitals to close. He is a criminal businessman, said Louis Henry. Mar, director of Asian non-profit, La Cool La Paix. In 2020, I and other peace builders went to see him and asked him to stop his assault on the Belier neighborhood in Port-au-Prince. And he made some promise, Mars added. But he continued burning down people's houses. He listens, but ultimate, ultimately, he does what it is best in his best interest. Speaking to the Financial Times, Mars compared a gangster to a volcano constantly poised to erupt. He has some charisma, he's a thinker, but he's a violent individual also. So this man of sent to departure lounge man. Like many Asian crime bosses, Theresa also has high-level political connections. 
he has rumored close to be president, close to be rumored to former President Jovenel Moyes, whose 21 assassination paved way for the current meme. Some suspect Cheriza has political aspiration of his own. Barbecues and engaging is a natural politician when I met him. I knew straight away he was a force to be reckoned with. The Sky News cor correspondent Stuart Ramsey wrote after their 2023 encounter. He sees himself as a revolutionary fighting against the dark corruption of government and oligarch businessmen. But make no mistake, he is an out and out gangster. He is an out and out gangster. The Yoga Darin, an international crisis group, ET especially said, Cheriza attempt to paint himself as a compassionate, if iron fist champion of ghetto, was not entirely without basis. He gives women presents on Mother's Day. He gives money to families that don't have means to send their, children, their kids to school. But people are aware that he is also one of the main people responsible for the nightmare they are living, Darren said. That nightmare plumbed new depths this week after Cheriza announced he was leading a massive gang assault against Henry's government and ordered his gunmen out onto the streets to sow chaos. Since the attack began on 29 of February, criminals have burned down dozens of business, businesses and police stations, forced International Airport to close, freed thousands of hundreds of criminals from jail and laid siege on, to the port. AT unrest, armed gangs target International Airport after mass, mass jailbreak. Video report Henry was in Africa when the uprising began and said nothing has been able to return home. Unfortunately, Barbecue is now the most powerful man in E.T. said, said, said Jude's Jonathan's an independent consultant based in Port-au-Prince, Port that I capital for E.T. So as we tell you, you know, yeah, so as we tell you, you know, so remember, you know, so the real corruptors in Jamaica are not the criminals on the street, but the 63 members of parliament. Now, these individuals are supposed to represent the people's best interests, yet many of them look out for themselves. So that happened with, with barbecue with Jimmy. Yeah, so the politicians them in a jump in 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 eighty. That's what they mean doing. Them allow this man to reign and run amok of the country. And now him out of control. So that's why we are telling you, know, say, Jamaica is ripe for the picking to become the next eighty. So we don't have to know one for believe it. I've said it a long time ago, you know, but guess what now? You know how the how the criminal is going to do it? They're not going to do it like Jimmy, like barbecue with Jimmy. They're going to the House of Parliament. Them have, you have more, right now in Jamaica, you have more gunmen than the security forces, you know. And I don't know which policeman or soldier is willing to give them life for a corrupt system. I would not encourage any of the young police them to do it. That's why I tell them to leave. It will get worse, you know. But I don't you want to believe it. You see, with the, um... We did a series showing about what happened at Olympic Gardens back then because of the corruption by police officers and, you know, as we tell you, you know, Jamaicans and a whole act on impulse, you know, they must think before them do things. So stand by, because worse is, yet, worse is yet to come. Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. And with the appointment of Dr. Kevin Blake, you know, the nepotism and the corruption continue. The poor people are seated, you know. And when the poor can't take it no more, when people realize that justice is just to some people, you know, I no glasses to see what I mean, uh, Patrick Bailey's case. And then you tell me, say, well, we have to just work with it, say, they might at least corrupt, based on what we say. We don't want to least corrupt government. We're on a government, we're not corrupt. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.